Hey yogis, welcome to the Yoga Flame. My name is Igor and today we will be doing nice and sweet morning practice with different variations of sun salutations or Surya Namaskar. It's a perfect practice to do early in the morning, maybe even before sunrise, if you like to wake up near 5, 6 a.m. It's perfect practice for you. But if the sun is not there on the outside for you, you can always say hi to your inner sun in your heart by <laughs> these sun salutations. So let's start today's practice with energizing breath work or pranayama called Kapalabhati. Uh, it's a nice practice what can uh, replace a good cup of coffee for you early in the morning. Uh, it can lift your energy up, it can shift you into more focused state, it can prepare your body for some movement practice what we will be doing later. So the technique is pretty simple. All you need to do is just exhale forcefully by using your core muscles like this. We will do three rounds of 20 exhalations. If it's not feel comfortable for you, you can always change the numbers. It doesn't matter actually. So you can do more or less in the tempo of what I do or at different pace. And after each round, we will hold the breath on a exhalation for as long as we can and on an inhalation for as long as we can to decrease the pumping the energetic shift to make it more balanced and more controllable for us. So let's start in a comfortable seated position. Make a deep, long inhale. And slowly exhale through the mouth. Make two more of this. Perfect. Now let's do our pranayama practice. Deeply inhale through the nose. Exhale completely through the nose. Inhale deeply. Exhale halfway. 20 exhalations of Kapalabhati. Now exhale completely and hold the breath. Inhale all the way and hold here. Slowly exhale. Let's do the second round. Deeply inhale. Exhale completely. Deeply in. Exhale halfway. 20 exhalations of Kapalabhati. Exhale completely. Hold the breath.
And when you're ready, deeply in. And hold here. Release. Final round of Kapalabhati. Deeply in. Exhale completely. All the way in. Exhale to the half. 20 exhalations of Kapalabhati. Fully exhale, hold the breath. All the way in. And hold here. Release. Amazing job, yogis. Now spend a couple more breaths, your natural and calm breaths, to notice any changes or shifts in your energy level, in your body, maybe your body temperature changed, maybe you will feel a little bit of warm in your belly area. Observe your thoughts emotions, maybe close your eyes, amazing, now let's go into the tabletop position, place here, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, rotate your fingers forward, tuck your toes, a little bit of the wrist warm up, shift your shoulders forward, and all the way back jump here on your feet stretch your feet and continue with this movement back and forth connect this to your breath come back into the center rotate your fingers pointing to the sides and just move your body, maybe some circular, circular movements, maybe something different. Just explore how your body can move yourself in this pose. Change directions. And slowly come back to the center. Rotate your fingers so we are pointing towards your knees. And if it doesn't feel comfortable for your wrists, you can always rotate them pointing forward. So we will do a couple of cat cows to wake up our spine. Inhale, untuck your pelvis, reach forward through the chest, look forward, press down into your hands cow pose exhale from your pelvis move into the cat pose round your back move your forehead towards the navel press down into your mat inhale cow pose exhale cat pose round through the back inhale cow pose exhale cat pose Inhale, and exhale, perfect, from here rotate your fingers pointing forward, sit down on your heels, shake your arms a little bit, and come into your squat, straightening your legs, forward fold in the back of the mat. Maybe grab the opposite elbows, a little bit of puppet pose, 
let the gravity stretch you down and let's start with our sun salutations inhale lift up halfway create a nice straight line from your lower back to your head exhale fold forward inhale one vertebrae at a time lift yourself up lift your hands up look between your hands into the sky exhale connect your palms moving into your heart center in anjali mudra inhale gentle back bend press your hips slightly forward chest slightly up reach back with your hands exhale fold all the way down nice and slow inhale lift up halfway exhale fold forward from here bend your knees if you need to place your hands down underneath your shoulders walk your hands forward come into your plank pose press down into your hands high plank make your hips in line with your shoulders engage your glutes engage your legs bring your right knee closer to your chest step your right foot between your hands lower your left knee down inhale low lunge make a big circle with your arms lower them down behind you and lift them up exhale lower the hands down step back into your plank pose lift the left knee step the right leg back lift your left leg bring your left knee towards the chest step it as close to your hands as you can lower the right knee down inhale low lunge press the hips forward open your heart make a biggest possible circle with your hands lift them up exhale lower down bring your palms underneath your shoulders tuck your back toes step back plank pose from here move your, you can always help yourself with the knees if it doesn't feel comfortable for you so move your shoulders forward bend both elbows lower yourself down and tuck your toes in bring your hands wider than the shoulders inhale lift up into cobra pose engage your glutes legs if you don't feel comfortable here in your low back area you can always place your legs a little bit wider to decrease the tension in your lumbar spine and exhale slowly lower yourself down bring your hands underneath the shoulders tuck your toes inhale here exhale come into your plank pose wave your hips up and back downward facing dog adjust yourself on your mat as you need to say hi to your first down dog of the class maybe walk your dog by bending one leg then another reach down through the chest doesn't matter if your legs are bent or straight all that matters is the energetic line from your wrists to your hips I like to move my heels side to side here nice side body stretch to the left then to the right and come back to the center look forward between your hands step float or jump both legs between your hands come into forward fold lower yourself down inhale lift up halfway exhale fold forward and down inhale reach up through the hands exhale anjali mudra hands to your heart engage your legs and glutes press the hips forward inhale lift the chest up gentle back bend exhale lower all the way down forward fold. inhale lift up halfway nice straight line from your hips to the crown of the head exhale fold forward place your hands underneath the shoulders you can bend your legs if it feels good for you and step back into your high plank now we will do vinyasa vinyasa means transition so that's how we move from our forward fold to downward facing duck you can 
do vinyasa or skip them if you feel what it's enough strength for your practice today so with the legs on the ground or with the legs lifted bring your shoulders forward bend your elbows chaturanga inhale press up to plank lower your knees down lower your forearms down inhale glide into your cobra or up facing dog look forward press down into the hands open the heart exhale downward facing dog move from your hips press into your right leg lift your left leg up bend your left knee reach up through the knee try to keep your shoulder square lower down the left shoulder and lift up the right look forward and make a biggest possible circle with your left leg step your left leg outside of your left hand come into lizard lunge gently sway your hips here if it feels good for you maybe make some circles up and down so whatever movements it feels juicy and delicious for you in that pose press down into your hands and step your back right foot outside of your right hand inhale lift up into wide-legged chair pose or active squat stay here try to make your knees behind your toes your shoulders directly above your hips inhale lift up raise your hands up exhale move your hands to the heart center inhale come into the active squat exhale bring the hands down underneath the shoulders from here step back into your plank or flow directly into chaturanga press up into your plank pose bend your knees lower them down lower the forearms down inhale glide into up dog exhale downward facing back amazing look forward lift your right leg up bend your right knee reach up through the knee lower the right shoulder down make a biggest possible circle with your right leg come into lizard lunge on another side breathe nice and slow and sway your hips here maybe make some circles maybe side to side a little bit of a twist on a classic traditional sun salutation b so press into your hands and step your left leg outside of your left hand inhale active squat or right legged chair stay here on the next inhale lift up exhale bring the hands to your heart center inhale active squat exhale lower your hands down step float or however you like come into your chaturanga or just downward facing duck press up into plank lower the knees lower the elbows down look forward glide into your upward facing duck exhale downward facing dog amazing job press into your right leg lift your left leg up bend your left knee look forward make a biggest possible circle with your left leg come into a lizard pose lower the right heel down inhale bring your right arm back left arm forward come into your warrior two I will change the side so you can see me better check in with your knees directly above the ankle can you see the big toe inside if not move your knee slightly to the left it's very important for our knee joint health on the next inhale reverse your warrior rotate your left palm upward slide with your right hand down on your right leg reach back by your left arm exhale extended side angle bring your left forearm on your left thigh reach forward with your right hand 
Feel a nice energetic line from your right heel to your right fingers. Open the heart up. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down inside of your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Lizard lunge. From here, step back, come into your plank. Now your choice, vinyasa or down dog. If you do vinyasa with me, bring your shoulders forward. Bam, both elbows, chaturanga. Press up plank. Move back, knees, forearms down. Inhale, upward facing duck. Exhale. Downward facing duck. Amazing. Press into your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Bend the right knee. Open. Stack the hip. Look forward. Make a big circle with your right leg. Step it outside of your right hand. Lizard lunge. Lower them. Left heel down. Inhale. Cartwheel. Left hand back. Right arm forward. Directly into our warrior two pose. I will change sides so you can see me better. Check in with your knee again. Can you see the big toe? I keep repeating this because it's very important for knee joint health. On the next inhale, flip your right palm up. Reverse your warrior. Slide down with the left hand. Reach up and back with your right hand. Look up. Exhale. Bring your right forearm on your right thigh. Reach forward with your left hand. Extended side angle. Open the heart up. Try to not fall down into your right shoulder. Engage your side core muscles here. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach back with your right hand. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down. Lizard lunge, lift your left heel up, press down into your hand, step back into your plank pose. Your choice, vinyasa or downward facing duck. For vinyasa, bring your shoulders forward, bend elbows, chaturanga, press up plank, lower the knees down, lower the forearms down. Inhale, upward facing duck. Exhale, downward facing duck. Perfect. Now look forward and however you like, step, float or jump both legs outside of your hands, come into Malasana or Yogi Squat. Lower your hips down. If you want, you can bring your hands inside of your knees. Try to keep your spine nice and long here. If it doesn't feel comfortable for you to sit like that, you can always support yourself with the block or keep your heels lifted. Slowly lower yourself all the way down. Now, stretch your legs to the side, maybe to the 80% of your maximum range. That's more efficient to stretch yourself on the 80%, it's a lot of scientific data on it. So deeply inhale, move your toes towards your knees. Deeply inhale, exhale, fold forward and down. Try to keep the spine nice and long. You can place your hands down on the ground or grab your feet, grab your big toes, maybe grab your shins. If it feels good for you, you can always elevate your hips to make a nice pelvic tilt. You can keep your legs bent, whatever feels good for you today. With each inhalation, stretch yourself forward, elongate through the spine, create space. And with each exhalation, Dive deeper into the space that you've created. Let your breath guide you. All these poses is nothing if you move without the breath. So yoga, especially asana, is deeply connected to the breath and try to 
maintain the same pace of your breath, the same pattern to the whole class. Inhale slowly, lift yourself up. Connect your soles of the feet together. Spread your knees wide. Reach up through the crown of the head. You can play with the place of your feet here. You can bring your hip heels a little bit closer to the hips or place them far away from you. And inhale, lift up, exhale, fold forward into butterfly pose. Lower your knees down, press the feet into each other, and slow down your breath. The most intense part of the practice is done. You did an amazing job. Time to slow yourself down. Shift into a more yin state, more relaxing state. Maybe lower your forearms all the way down. Inhale, slowly lift yourself up. Bring your hands behind you. Press up into your hands, lift your hips up, reverse tabletop. From here, slowly move your hips forward closer to the heels lower them down open your chest up and on the next exhale try to slowly bend your both elbows nice shoulder stretch hmm. and slowly release hug your knees into the chest and lower all the way down straighten your left leg down and by your left hand guide your right knee to the left straighten your right hand to the right you can look up or towards your right fingers nice supine twist if it's possible for you try to lower your right knee down instead of right shoulder the legs are more stable base in the twists because knee joint have less mobility than the shoulder joint so by lowering our knee we creating a stable fundament for our twist slowly come back to the center hug both knees into the chest Straighten your right leg down. Rotate your left knee to the right. Straighten left hand to the side. And look up or towards your left fingers, depending on what feels best for your neck today. And try to lower your left knee down. Nice and slow breaths. Completely relax and let go. And slowly come back to the center. Hug your knees into the chest for the last time in today's class. Show yourself some love and gratitude for actually doing this class today, not just watching for doing the work for yourself or making effort to be a better version of you. Hug yourself as warm as you can and slowly release your legs and hands down to the corners of the mat. Come into Shavasana, final resting pose. Try to fully relax here, laying down. Take as much space as you need to. Let go of any tension 
in your body, of any tension in your mind. And simply observe your breath. Notice how with each inhalation a cool fresh air coming into your nose and how with each exhalation a warm used air leaving out your body through the nostrils. Don't try to control that cycle or change anything. Simply observe and notice. If you found what your mind starts to wonder in, be grateful for yourself, for your mindfulness, and just come back to your breath. You can spend in Shavasana as much time as your body needs to today. Thank you very much for joining me on the mat. It was an honor for me to share this practice with you. We'll be happy to see you again with love and gratitude. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe or share your experience in a comment below. It will be a great support to Yoga Flame channel and for me to keep the new classes coming for you. If you want some specific practice, please let me know, maybe something on a breathwork or meditation or Yoga Nidra, I am happy to share all my yoga practices with you. Thank you.